What I have behind me here is a broken 60 inch LED TV that I'm going to fix for under a dollar. It was recently sitting in someone's basement on its way to the landfill. Now, one of the reasons why I started this channel is to help people fix things themselves and save money. People are throwing away useful and valuable things all of the time. Take this TV, for example. This is a Vizio E601-A3. I have the remote control here. I'm going to turn it on. As it's turning on, you'll notice that the Vizio logo doesn't come on. You can probably tell that the backlight is on. See this purplish area over here? That's telling us that the backlight is coming on, but there's no picture. And so if you have a, a situation where there's sound but no picture, that's what's well, a common problem on this TV. So as you're watching me fix this and diagnose it, just a caveat, you might have a different problem with your TV, but this is a common problem on this model. Here's the back of the TV. I took the back cover off, all the screws out, popped it off, and I turned the TV upside down. You can see that there's a main power supply board, there's a, a main board, which is the brains, and then these black wires that go up to another board that's hidden behind this, this panel up here. We need to pop this panel off because the board that we need to repair is this one right here. That's called the TCON board. The reason there's no picture on the screen and there's a backlight is because there's a problem on the TCON board. It handles the picture for the TV and so it's bad and it's not even showing a picture. So I'm going to pull that off. There's four screws holding it on and get it to my bench and I'll show you the part that I believe has failed. This is a zoomed in picture of the TCON board. I actually took mine out of the TV, uh, but the test I want you to do, uh, you don't need to take it out of the TV if you want to just test it while it's still in there. Uh, but just make sure you unhook it, like here and on this side, disconnect it. So to find the component that I want you to test, start at the lettering here and go to the main chip and then take a left and stop right about here. The component that I want to draw your attention to is right here. This is a transistor and its, it's uh, connections should not be shorted. But I have my multimeter in continuity settings such that it beeps when there's an electrical connection. You hear that? So if I test this side and this side, it beeps and it should not. If I test this one, it beeps as well. So it, it should not. Uh, so this is definitely bad, this transistor. And um, what we're going to do is take that out, put a new one in, and uh, see if we can get our 60-inch TV working again. Here's our new component. It comes in this thing called cut tape. This thing costs 54 cents, believe it or not. And it's going to get our 60-inch TV up and running again. Okay, if you hear that noise, that's my hot air station turned on. We're going to get that transition transistor out of there. If you want to know what tools I'm using, look at the description below. I have a link to the tools that I'm using. Let's get the tweezers on there. You need a hot, nice hot air station if you want to do this kind of work more regularly. And if you just kind of want to play around, you can buy a cheaper one. There we go. So that is off. So I apply a little bit of flux to the pads. I tin my my tip. And so I'm just gonna kind of clean these up a little bit. Some fresh solder on there. It'll make the the new transistor go on there much easier. Get that new transistor on there. All right, I got the new transistor right there. I'm going to put some flux on these solder points. And we're going to get that guy on there. Again, I'm going to use a hot air station. And 
here we go. And grab your guy with the tweezers. Sometimes you need really steady hands for this. And I'm not doing a very good job of holding this, am I? There we go. All right, just bump the camera. There we go. All right, I don't really like this one foot here. I'm gonna just hit it with the soldering iron real quick to make it look a much better joint. Just get some flux on there. And this is all you need to do. Okay, that's it. All done. Okay, I got the board in there with two screws, one here and there. Time to plug it in and see if it works. These just click in. These, make sure the tab is up. There's a little bit of a latch on either side. You can gently press it down there and flip this down. Make sure you don't break that, just go gentle. Same on this side. And then we push the power button. Okay, the moment of truth, I am so excited. Did we fix this 60 inch TV for 54 cents? Let me turn it on and hopefully we'll get a picture. There it is, Vizio logo, the TV is booting up. We have fixed this TV. Can you believe it? 54 cents on a 60 inch TV. If you'd like to learn uh, how to fix things, save money, subscribe to my channel, I'll teach you cool things like this. Have a great day.